Hi there folks, John from DIY Punk Rock and Harkus Audio here. Um, just wanted to make a quick run through of the general MIDI pack of Ultimate Punk and Warwick Hardcore. Um, this pack was created uh, using general MIDI in Logic and GarageBand as well as MT Power Drum Kit 2 um, and is a drag and drop pack uh, for use with GarageBand or Logic Drummer or any other GM based drum samplers. Uh, I'll just g give you a quick rundown of what's inside here. Um, anybody familiar with the skate punk packs will be familiar with the kind of uh, way this is set out. So we've got intro fills, fills, halftime fills, drum breaks, short drum breaks, tom grooves, straight grooves, hang grooves, triplet feel, uh, halftime, quarter time, double time, Double kick grooves, back beats, hooks, three over four, and blast beats. Um, intro fills basically are cool for starting off a song. Fills can be dropped basically anywhere uh, within any of your patterns to kind of create uh, connecting pieces. Half time fills um, are basically half the time, so more eighth notes rather than sixteenths, uh, and are, work really well with the kind of half time grooves and the the, the breakdowns. Uh, drum breaks are just cool drum break ideas. Um, for kind of dragging and dropping in to see what you think. A uh, short run breaks, same again, but half the time. Tom grooves, just loads of different kind of cool tom uh, patterns. Uh, the straight grooves folder is pretty stacked. Um, it goes from groove one all the way up to groove nineteen, and then it has an alternative grooves folder as well, uh, which has got loads of fills built in. Um, inside each of these grooves so they're kind of like standard Green Day style duka to duka with different kick variations um, but you'll find a closed hats, crash, floor, open hats version, ride variation with a fill a variation with a double kick pedal uh, section in it and then a variation with uh, kind of half time and then quarter time that can all go together for really quick um, creation Um the halftime stuff's uh, kind of heavy, heavy, heavy rock beats. Quarter time again is half the time of half. Uh, double times all your D beats, um, and there's also a uh, alt grooves folder in there also that has fills built in. Um, double kick patterns uh, go in normal time, half time, and quarter time. Uh, the back beats are your kind of di 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 go di go, and then it's got in between stuff which is kind of post rock sounding bits and pieces. Uh, hooks are just ideas for putting kind of some technical kind of in rows and out rows or kind of middle eights together. <clears throat> three over four stuff, uh, you need to set your click track to three four, over four for that do 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 ga do 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 ga sort of beat. Blast beats what it doesn't says on the tin and uh, breakdowns are kind of like really um, a lot of hardcore kind of post hardcore inspired breakdowns with loads of double kick uh, variations etc. So uh, regarding using this in Logic, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, obviously I've extracted the file, uh, the folder onto the desktop and I'm just going to open up Logic Pro with an instance of Drummer. So I'm using SoCal here. Uh, we can nip over to the file browser um, and in file browser you'll be able to look for the folder. So in, in my instance I have it on the desktop. So I'll just open up the desktop and then Ultimate Punk and then into the folder and then we can see all the folders here where we can start to drag and drop. I have my tempo set to 195 beats a minute. Um, the, the beats were performed and edited at around about 195 to 200, but they do sound pretty cool all the way down to 150, even 120 in some cases. Triplet Fuel has that uh, labelled 120 or 170 just as a starting point. Um, so we can open up intro fills, drag in an intro fill. Let's have a listen. Uh, so yep, there's 32 of them to check out, uh, we can just have a play about, we'll go straight into, let's go straight into a Tom Groove, so let's go Tom Groove 3, play that back. And then we'll drag in another one. See, we wanted to go in our double kick groove, normal time. Uh, and so on, basically drag and drop functionality is pretty straightforward. 
Um, I've got all the double time stuff here as well, uh, double time alternate, so that's got some cool fills built in. Let's play that. <laughs> So as you can hear, you can link stuff together pretty fairly easily. Um, obviously, to be able to preview the files, you'll need to drag them into um, the drummer track playback. But if there are any particular files that you do like the sound of, um, it's quite simple to literally just uh, right click in Logic and add it to your loop library. Um, this, the files are self named, so you can just right click it um, and then create. And then when you go into your loop library, it should be in there at playback. And then also drag back into your project. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, also, using this in GarageBand, unfortunately, it doesn't have a file browser, but um, it is a simple drag and drop functionality, and you can also turn them into loops. So uh, in GarageBand, we can just open that up and say we just want to drag in the same fill on a SoCal drums, and it will just work exactly the same. So let's check that out. Go. And then let's go back in another tom groove. Let's go for groove seven. And so on. So drag and drop functionality, pretty straightforward. Get that away. Um, also, you can drag that into your loop browser. So if you were to open up your loop browser, and I believe you can just drag that into here, and then it will ask you again if you wanted to create the loop, at which point it would create it, and then you can listen back. And drag it back in to check out. Also, the beauty of that is that you can still change the tempo, and it will go here and play back at the same tempo. Yeah, so just a really quick kind of demo of how to drag and drop in Logic and GarageBand. Um, Logic's got a built-in file browser and GarageBand is literally dragging and dropping from the folder in. But um, if you do take the time to obviously want to uh, go through the files and bring them all in and then add them to your loop browser, then that would be a very quick way to be able to uh, preview the files fairly quickly. Um, there's a player at the bottom of this page where you can check out or on the DIY Punk Rock uh, website that's got a... Uh, loads of examples um, in the SoundCloud player to check out. Uh, and yep, any questions, feel free to email us at DIYPunkRock.com, info at DIYPunkRock.com. Uh, thanks for checking it out and hope you enjoy the pack. Cheers. <laughs>